Hey there, my name is Epi, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm here to give you all 70 dumb facts about the new Splatoon 3 trailer that recently came out. In case you don't remember, I'm the guy who made this video. Yeah, reminder, take this with a grain of salt, some of these might not be true, and yes, I'll even take in facts from the official Nintendo of America website. Without further ado, let's begin. Bevel has been added to the ink on loading screens. The UK trailer already has a provisional Peggy rating. The music playing in the background is Seaside's clickbait. It's such a banger. Gluga's undercover umbrella and the splash o -matic make a return. The stage featured is officially named Eel Tail Alley. The Clash Blaster also makes a return. While we have yet to see the brush class, everyone but the Chargers are seen standing on the espresso machines. This trailer shows that you can really choose where you want to spawn. Burst Bombs make a return as sub-weapons. So, Clash Blaster may have an increased blast radius? Because there's a shot where the Clash shoots a massive blast, and another shot that contains a regular blast. So, it might become a charge weapon? I don't know. The Crab Tank special is literally Wrecking Ball from Overwatch. Oh, and it can climb walls. This new special, Big Bubbler, prevents enemy players from damaging painting what's inside. Museum Del Alfonsino from Splatoon 1 returns, and they explain how we're able to access old stages. This also confirms drawn posts, as you can see throughout the showcase of this stage. Curling bombs are also making a comeback. The Inkzooka has been upgraded into the Trizooka. For three times, it can shoot three shots simultaneously. The Killer Whale 5.1 is a combined version of the Killer Whale and the Stingray, where I'm scared to even describe this. The Inkjet's also back. You can see the new Squid Roll at the center of Museum de Alfonsino. The new Grapple special is called the Zipcaster. Chargers don't have lasers anymore, instead they have little glowing aura. We're getting a lot of new gear, and my guy is wearing three shades at once. What a drip. The afro hair song for the Octolings return. Inkling doing a cool little trick, not sure if this could be used as an emote, or it's just shown for trailer purposes. When the ink runs out on the zip caster, players will be returned to the original spots, as shown by this new icon. And now we transition to the story mode of Splatoon 3, get ready for a lot of facts. Fuzzy Octarian. Little Buddy is story mode material. Our agent is wearing two separate drips, not sure if it's an upgrade type situation. They got that one camera shot from Into the Spider-Verse, which just looks so freaking cool. Also, the ink tank isn't what we saw earlier, instead it's only a soda bottle. Little Buddy hiding behind the tank, which is so adorable. Zapfish are back, which might still be remaining as the end of each level. Easter Island heads, also known as the Moyais. I don't know if it's just me, but the graphics look way more stunning than the sequels. Little Judd and Big Judd lore. These fuzzy Octarians have feet! That's a squid being dissected for research, which, I mean, isn't that a bit graphic, Nintendo? Illustration of the Eiffel Tower sinking down into a whirlpool. It's a dead fish with a halo. You can throw the little brat and they ingest the fuzzy ink. These names are getting out of hand. This thing can also eat- wait, oh, I'm sorry. Bite the fuzzy Octarians. Not only does the agent have a new drip, but there's a new ink tank where the little is hiding behind. While we only have one minute of story mode, it's already looking more cinematic than the first two games. Callie and Marie are back and Captain Cuttlefish. Agent 3 is the new commander of the new Squidbig Splatoon since Cuttlefish retired from his position. Callie's color is now green instead of pink, and she's wearing Marie's dress. Marie is wearing a White Order-like trench coat. New hero shot! Squid Sister's back with the new Stay Fresh pose, with Agent 3 being a part of it. Three's eyes are blue in the trailer, but in the official NOA website, the eyes are orange. This trailer is so pleasing. Captain Cuttlefish is bald. He's got that really nice summer drip. He's in a desert area, which is similar to what we saw in the announcement trailer. 16 frames of what seems to be a splashdown from our main protagonist. That looks like a human eyeball. Robot Octopi are making a return. In one of the stages, you can see the agent holding a slashing machine, and it's in yellow. A really big mech with a big bad DJ Octavio. If he ends up being the final boss, literally everybody will be disappointed, but he's not covered in fur. So, maybe... Octavio has a GoPro. The story mode is starting us off in a snowy rocket field dome in a place called Alterna. At the near end of the trailer, you can hear a countdown starting from 5, but repeats the number 3. Touching the fuzzy ink will turn your character into a fur ball, which will probably make you lose a life. This is the aftermath and little buddy is screaming ever so quietly. There's a small inch of Mr. Grizz when the trailer cuts to black with this subtitle.
This was hard to pronounce, please tell me I'm not the only one. They gave us no release window whatsoever, but it's most likely arriving in the summer or fall season of 2022. And that's all the facts! Can't believe it's already been half a year since the announcement, but now we're getting close to the end of 2021, and we should most definitely expect a Splatoon 3 Direct in the future. Which of these facts intrigue you the most, and why are you excited for Splatoon 3? Let me know in the comments, feel free to subscribe, become a member, it really helps me out, and I hope you all stay safe out there. Bye!